Let's read the question. Negative hydration enthalpy of which ion is highest? The options are Mn2 positive, Fe2 positive, CO2 positive or Ni2 positive. Students, for this question, we need to know that higher the charge density of ion is, higher will be the hydration enthalpy. Among the given options, Ni2 positive will have the highest charge density. As a result, will have the highest hydration enthalpy. That means the correct answer is option number 4. I am also writing the data of hydration enthalpy of the given ions for you people. So, here I am writing ions. Here I am writing hydration enthalpy and the unit will be kilojoules per mole. Let's start with Mn2 positive and the value is minus 1862. Moving to next, this is Fe2 positive, the value is minus 1998. Moving to next, this is CO2 plus and the value is minus 2079 and the last is Ni2 positive which has the highest negative value the value is minus 2121 so students it is very clear that we'll have the highest negative value of hydration enthalpy moving to next question students which is question number 62 let's see the question students for which transition metal the standard potential that is E0 M2 plus to M value is positive students here we are given with four elements and we have to identify that which has the positive value of standard reduction potential and it is very clear that the correct answer is copper that means number four students I'm writing the data of E0 values of the given elements so that it can help you in future starting with titanium so Ti2 positive to Ti the value of E0 here is given in volts the value is minus 1.63 and then we have manganese so Mn2 positive to Mn the value is minus 1.18 next we have nickel so Ni2 positive to nickel and the value is minus 0 0.25 and next we have Cu2 positive to Cu and the value is plus 0 0.34 so it is very clear that copper will have positive value of standard reduction potential so the correct answer is option number four moving to next question students which is question number 63 let's read the question the incorrect statement among the following is students in this question we are given with four statements and we have to identify that which is an incorrect statement starting with number one Permanganate and manganate ion are tetrahedral in shape. Students, this is the correct statement. Both permanganate and manganate ion are tetrahedral in shape. Moving to next, manganate ion is green in color. Students, this is also a correct statement. Manganate ion is paramagnetic, but permanganate ion is diamagnetic in nature. Students, this is also a correct statement. Moving to last, Acidified permanganate solution oxidizes iodide to iodate. Students, this is an incorrect statement as in acidic medium, permanganate solution oxidizes iodide to iodine rather than to iodate. And I'm also writing the balance equation of the oxidation of iodide to iodine by permanganate ion in acidic medium. I'm also writing the equation which is 2MnO4 minus plus 10 I minus acidic medium 16 H plus gives 2 Mn 2 plus plus 8 H2O plus 5 I2. That means the correct answer is option number 4. Moving to next question students which is question number 64. Let's read the question. Which among the following shows highest number of oxidation states? Students, here we are given with elements of 3D series and we have to answer that which element will show the highest number of oxidation state. And it is very clear that the correct answer is manganese since Mn shows oxidation number starting from plus 2 to plus 7. That is plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7. That means the correct answer is option number 1. Moving to next question students which is question number 65. Let's read the question. Increasing order of spin only magnetic movement 
of Mn2 positive, Fe2 positive, CO2 positive and Ni2 positive is. Students for this question we need to know that more the number of unpaired electrons more will be its value of spin only magnetic moment. So for that we need to identify the number of unpaired electrons among the given ions. So first of all I am calculating the number of unpaired electrons. So here I am writing ions, here I am writing number of unpaired electrons starting with number 1 which is Mn2 positive the number of unpaired electrons is 5 then we have Fe2 positive the number of unpaired electrons will be 4 next we have CO2 positive the number of unpaired electrons will be 3 and last we have Ni2 positive the number of unpaired electrons will be 2 that means number of unpaired electrons decreases from Mn2 positive to Ni2 positive and the order of spin only magnetic moment will be same. So the correct answer is represented in option number 3. The highest spin only magnetic moment is observed in Mn2 positive and the least spin only magnetic moment is observed in Ni2 positive. That means the correct answer is option number 3. Moving to next question students which is question number 66. Mm -hmm. 